Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back and the other day I made a video and it's like getting 15 wins in a row in Masters Power League, something like that. So that was a crazy win streak. Today we got an even crazier one. 19 wins in a row, almost 20. I, I lost on the 20th game. Uh, but two like insane win streaks and I went from like mid L3 to like third in the world. I tilted a bit yesterday if you guys watched I was streaming on YouTube for the first time in a while. Not really the best power league push but I had a lot of fun so shout out to all you guys that came out to the live on YouTube and I'll see you again uh, soon this week. I'm streaming every day on Twitch uh, and every other day on YouTube. So yeah, six days a week. Come check me out if you guys want to see some live gameplay. But yeah, we're going to get right into it, starting off with a game on Infinite Doom. Alright, so uh, they do have last pick. Um, so yeah, we got to be careful about them, kind of. I think we one issue is like Brock's very good on this map, but if you take Brock early, they can go Piper or something like that. Uh, I don't understand the Grom ban. Doesn't really make any sense to me, but it's not really the end of the world. I'm going to ban Gene because I feel like Gene... It can kind of be rough as a first pick sometime, but sometimes, but it's really annoying, like 2-3, I think, because you can take Gene, something that pairs well with it. We will get Squeak, really good first pick. Uh, the only issue with drafting for, uh, first pick Squeak is you can get ran down. This is a very bushy map, and when we run out of gadgets, we're going to be very susceptible. They do go Piper, so <laughs> pretty much any time I see a Piper, personally, just because I, I think I play Nani so much, I'm thinking, all right, like, I'm going Nani this game. Uh, and, you know, more than not, I do end up going the Nani. And I think Nani's fine on this map. Obviously, I only pick it as a counter pick. But if I do see, like, a Piper or something long range like that, or, like, two long range brawlers, like, Piper's not around, then I'll probably go Nani. Mr. P is really good on this map as well. Um, but, yeah, it's not the worst squeak matchup so far. Eve's gonna go Tara, which I like that pick, just because I can go, like, a tank now. Or, sorry. Uh, Nani now like more comfortably and we don't have to worry about tanks as much because we do have the Tara um, But you know, I'm only doing this because I think I'm very good at Nani for most other people here I'd probably suggest like something to go like aggro or like hold mid control um, and Yeah, because they definitely still can run us down and they're gonna go buster which buster is a really good pick here It's smart from them now squeak into buster is kind of fine because he can't really bounce the shots back at at you as well because they land on the ground um but tara can't pull him when he's using his super if he does have that one star power on and into nani i think it's fine as well so i'm gonna go vision gear 100 percent here uh, i think it's really good on nani but most of the time nani is one of the few brawlers where i think you can use like every gear on besides like hp i never go hp on nani um but i love having vision gear also the buster's bobby uh, <laughs> i i knew that so i was <laughs> i made sure to try my best um but yeah, you can see Bobby is going to be sneaking up, and my Squeak hits a really good shot. I probably would have died if the Squeak didn't hit that shot. Squeak's going to die, you know, like, that's kind of fun. I don't really care. Uh, we're going to trade and get the positive star ratio because you'd get the kill on um, us first. I'm going to run up, and I know I can kill the Buster. Unfortunately, I did get spotted by the Mr. P, and I feel like I was too far forward um, to kind of go back. So I know, like, Nani... Obviously, it's like a long-range squishy brawler, but I can definitely burst people like in this map. That's why I think it's also pretty decent. I can just sneak on them, uh, auto-aim once or twice, and I have my return to sender to stay alive as well. So the penguins are going to be very annoying for me, though. I can technically one-shot them, but... Uh, okay, so... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to pick up the kill on the Piper there, and Piper will miss a curve on us, so that's really nice. So Eve's smart, just waiting out uh, the Buster... Super, I think he definitely could have found, found a time to pull there, but he holds on to the pull. He wasn't, like, comfortable. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. And, yeah, my team, uh, specifically the Squeak, keeps dying. And they're almost about to end this game at this point. So, definitely need to be careful. Eve dies as well, which is pretty bad. So, this game looks kind of over. Honestly, I'm at a return to centers as well. If I can maybe kill the Piper, but you can see I get some good peak shots off on her as well. And I will kill her, so she didn't want to jump there because I could just, like, shoot wherever she lands. I have so much range. So I did manage to get some really nice, nice peak shots on the Piper there. And, uh, yeah, it saved jump. I probably would have tried jumping, like, but, you know, 
I think it's okay. It's not the worst play ever. I'm going to get the Piper as well, and then we're going to get the Mr. P. So, Piper definitely threw at the end. It had jump. I don't know what it was doing. It just egoed the jump. The first one, I can kind of, like, understand the second one. I don't know. I just tried egoing me, I think. But I'm going to get some really good kills there, and uh, our Tara is able to finish it off just to kind of get us the win. All right, so game number two. Uh, I'm going to be a little more careful of the Buster sneaking up on us. It did cause a lot of issues for us last time, so I'm going to focus a lot more of my attention there. And, you know, Bobby, obviously a good player. <laughs> He's going to sneak up on us. <laughs> so it is a little difficult. Ideally, I think the Tara should be at the bottom and the Squeak should be aggro at the top, knowing that the Buster did that last time. And I think I just missed the Piper there with my second shot. You know, that's one that I wish I could get back. But I'm going to be sneaky and I'll just walk up and I know I can kill the Buster as well. Um... In Bounty, <laughs> one thing that I like doing, even if someone's going to die, like the squeak there, I regret not taking that kill because I know the stars are much better on me than someone that I'm not very familiar with. Like, I know I'll stay alive. Um, them, I'm not so sure about. So, yeah, we're getting a nice pinch here with the squeak. If I can keep my return to senders, beautiful. If not, I don't mind using them. But with Nani, like, specifically, you always want to hang... This is why... If I use my return to center there, it would be on cooldown. I'd probably die there. I get such a nice little peek there on the Piper as well. Kind of been giving Piper the work uh, this whole series. Eve is going to go down, unfortunately. And I am going to just hit the Buster back because I can go for someone else. But I don't know. I think it's just the safe play hitting the Buster back there. Like, odds are he doesn't fully commit. But if he does, I didn't see if he had a gadget or not. If he does, he can definitely cancel my Nani head. And, you know, I think it's fine. It's definitely the safe play. And yeah, we're going to be on, we just need one more kill. And I still have a return to sender, so I think it's fine here. And maybe Squeak connects there, I'm not sure exactly. So I think it just manages to stay alive. It's our game to lose right now for sure. Um, everyone's just got to be careful of the buster. I have my return to sender on. And yeah, Tara's going to get a nice pull. I'll finish him off. Pretty, pretty strong Nani game. Happy with I played in that one. 10 and 1. Thank you for the yellow above VBS. He is very generous during this specific day to me, not gonna lie. Our game number two is gonna be a fire one. We got my boy Composure. Unfortunately, when I see Composure and another European on my team, I am prepared to play on like 100 plus ping, but I feel like I have a very good win rate with Composure like ever since we've played Power League together. So uh, always glad to see my boy on our team here. And it's gonna be Pinball Dreams. It's probably my least favorite map they added so you know you got to ban like Shelly Cordelius I think and then Tara I probably wouldn't um if people like if you give over a squeak here I don't think it's squeaks best map it's kind of annoying at the start because it can slow mid and then you can get pinched really hard but there's a few counters here I think gray is kind of decent into it so gray is banned unfortunately but I think like throwers are fine into it if it is trying to play the lane like you know a squeak doesn't have a really good way to hit it um, so I think we're going to go Bonnie here, which again, it's fine. Uh, I think Stu could have worked too into Squeak, but it can be really hard. Like technically Stu does counter like throwers, but you need like to get your hit first, which is really hard because these walls are so defensive on this map. So we're going to go Bonnie. I think I like that pick. Uh, it's just high HP mid can like apply a lot of pressure, can jump over on the lanes. It has like a lot of goal scoring potential too. So I think it's a pretty good pick. And um, yeah, we're going to go Willow. So this is one that I usually don't really uh, pick too often. I think I'm really good at Willow though. I just, it's not really like high priority for whatever reason. I think Barley is just kind of better than it. And Barley's banned here. Um, so yeah, no, I can understand the Willow. It's like safer. Um, I do think, they could just play squeak mid and like run us down right now like pretty hard because Tara's banned, Shelly's banned. Um, you know, we could probably go like Surge or something, but I think it could be pretty hard. But luckily they go Spike, which is just a terrible pick. Uh, it's like a very free Willow game right now. So I really don't like that Spike pick. I feel like if they go something like kind of aggro, like even like something like Stew, I think would be like a lot better. Um, which I think they do end up going. But, you know, they don't really like... I guess it's squeak mid, which I, I guess is okay, but the spike pick is just, like, really weird to me. So, um, yeah, my teammate, I don't think he has a lot of brawlers, so you gotta, like, kind of make do with what people have sometimes, and I feel like if someone doesn't have a lot of brawlers, you just, like, give them what they're asking for. Like, if they have, like, three brawlers level 11, 
and there's adjusting it. Like, I think it's fine. Composure is kind of the go at Bonnie. I like Willow, so I'm fine. I always go Vision Gear on throwers here. I think it's really helpful. Um, specifically on Dinah and Willow, I think it's really, really good. Barley, I feel like you can kind of keep track easier just because it does stay on the ground, your main attack. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go on the right side. I prefer going on the right side as a thrower because you can see I can get right up against this wall. There's kind of like a little like corner for me to hide in. And typically the left side is the easier one, uh, in like these non thrower matchups because you can kind of push up, you have the grass, but yeah, I like, I'm not really at any risk here. I just got to play safe, make sure I don't give Stu any hits. I'm being really annoying to him. I'm um, keeping my space very well. And you can see how much the vision gear is kind of helping me out here. So I can tell he's just going to go for me, but I'm going to get a nice control on him and I will take out one of his teammates. Um, and yeah, that was just a nice control and it's all like just from like spacing really well. So I know he's going to be peeking. He sees me kind of low. I just kind of like blind super him a little bit. I like, I saw a blind blind super, but I know he's going to be there, but I think it's worth the risk. Like Willow super, I kind of prefer just throwing it out unless I really have to hold on to it. Um, which sometimes you do in this matchup because Stu can just get a wall break and you know, you're just kind of dead Willow if you don't have your super. Now I prefer going this gadget on Willow as well for like I'd say like 80% of the matchups. The only ones that like I kind of take the other one into is like a Carl or like sometimes like Sam, something like that, where I don't think I'm going to kill them either way. I can just kind of stall and buy some time, maybe build up enough super. And I'm going to get a really nice control there again and just go for the trick shot, you know, finish it off in style. Um, so you can just see like how good Willow is in Brawl Ball. <laughs> Composure, my boy, bro. You know I can't be a criminal on your team. Uh, so you gotta sweat when I get composure. You know, don't wanna be a criminal in the YouTube videos. Get locked up for war crimes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Stu does have like a hit here. So I'm gonna have to back off a little bit. Um, but I think as long as I keep my space, like it's not long dash. Long dash is pretty threatening to me. So I am gonna get him one shot and he's gonna just keep his hit, stay alive. You know, that trade could have been a lot worse for me, I think. So, luckily, I have that gadget, which just, like, applied enough pressure to back him off. I am going to, like, auto-aim that one. Never auto-aim your Willow Supers. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I just do it out of habit sometimes because, like, auto-aiming just works on some brawlers. I feel like on Willow, like, never auto-aim your Supers. Uh, we could have lost because I did auto-aim there. Um, luckily, his teammates were dead and, you know, my teammates were in a decent position, but... I really hate when I throw games off of auto-aiming, and I feel like it happens, like, out of, like, a lot of the pro players, I feel like I auto-aim, like, probably the least, just because I'm, like, worried about that, and there's nothing wrong with auto-aiming, don't get me wrong, like, I'm not trying to flex or anything, I just, like, prefer, like, if I'm gonna make a mistake, I wanna be, like, alright, like, I, I aimed it wrong, so that's kind of where I stand, and there's definitely abilities where you do auto-aim, um, and brawlers where you do auto-aim, uh, compared to brawlers where you don't and I don't think what will is a uh, auto aim brawler like You can with your main attack if they're on top of you, but that's pretty much it So yeah, we're gonna get the first game and uh, we're gonna be backing them up here as well So it's just about control with these comps uh, They're both pretty control comps squeak spike stew stew's a little aggro, but that's fine, and uh, ours is like Dog, like Bonnie, like Willow. So we just want to scale up. We can catch them out though, and I will be looking to get like another goal if I can. Like whenever I see like the balls kind of in their end, and they're gonna actually play like Stu mid here, which I don't know if I like particularly, but I think we really could have went for a goal there. The dog did die though. I'm gonna get a nice little control, and uh, yeah, I get them. Like, I get the squeak, and then his teammate was adding enough. So he kills the stew almost, stew is one shot, and then I'll take out the spike as well. So just holding it down for my team, making sure uh, we don't lose any position, because like I said, it's all about control with these two comps. So, you know, we want to make sure we can scale up comfortably and just, like, have me in this aggro position here. I really want to get the stew speed turrets. And I see the spike like pinching over a little too much, so I will gadget him. I definitely was looking for the stew at the first, at the beginning, but uh, I think here, 100%, we need a goal. I think Composure can probably throw the ball and jump on it. Um, but, you know, at the same time, it's hard, like in the moment. Um, and I'm gonna get the spike low once again. I think he goes down there, actually, yeah, he does. So I'm gonna have my control, and I'm gonna like push up here, because I can just do this thing where I shoot at the net, and then, you know, 
I tried auto aiming it again. It was stupid. That was like way too obvious. Then I'll get one shot. I think here we could probably score again too. Uh, maybe not. It looked like we could have. I mean, I definitely played it sloppy, but you know, it happens. You can't play everything perfectly. And yeah, I'm going to get the spike, but it's going to be a stalemate going into overtime. I think the Bonnie can definitely carry for our comp though. And uh, yeah, like a lot of throwers, like people think they're like so bad in overtime. I don't, really don't think so. I almost get it. Um, if the ball was a little closer and I took like a little less damage. I definitely score there. Uh, maybe I could have like, I'm going to spawn it in time to save the goal at least. But yeah, I don't think throwers are that terrible in overtime into like these like pokey matchups like spike, like squeak. Like I have the same, if not like more range than them, like off besides like the spike like curves i guess or whatever so i'm kind of fine with it honestly i just gotta like make sure i don't overextend and you just gradually gradually like you'll see like we'll get like an inch and then we'll back off wait for, wait for them to waste their ammo we get a dog treat whatever we're gonna apply more pressure uh now that speed turret by Stu and the dog dying there is really bad um but yeah the speed turret by Stu definitely makes it a lot harder i think speed turret is so so broken so I'm going to miss my control once again. I'm just going to make sure I stay alive enough. I uh, can't get hit by all the spike shots there. I do to go down and I can just have a free goal. So we're going to be drawing that one, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. All right, game number three. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see, we definitely want to end it before overtime, even though I think our comp's fine. Uh, with the thrower advantage, you just want to end it before overtime, even if throwers are okay in overtime, in my opinion, into some comps. But yeah, we're going to kind of push back on the left side. I didn't know the stew was dead. He died pretty fast. Now watching it back, I look kind of silly just standing there like aiming at nothing. <laughs> but yeah, the stew did die. I don't know how, but he died pretty fast. And yeah, I want to push up, take out that speed turret. It's at 70. It does decay relatively fast now. And I'm making my way over. I'm like, yo, I have not had a treat in a while, bro. Like, give me that treat. Let me carry this game. So I'm just going to back off. I don't mind giving Squeak a hit. I would much rather Squeak hit me and be kind of close to his, like, pretty bad super compared to Stu being able to play the game if he gets a hit on me. So, yeah, even if I took more damage or whatever, like, you kind of have to use, like, your IQ in the moment and just be like, all right, who's more of a threat? And <laughs> I will just kind of Willow super the wall. If I do hit one of them, like... Okay, also, guys, like I said, this is not my server. I'm on, like, 100 ping. Um, so, yeah, I can't play as cleanly as I want. A lot of my plays have just been off of like positioning and like IQ, um, which I think you have to rely on a lot when you're on high ping. So here, uh, I know not to shoot because I can regen and just keep my treat and stay alive. So yeah, that's something to keep in mind as well. Even if the squeak thing hits you, you still have time to regen. So yeah, I really wanted to make sure I kept my treat there. And yeah, you can see there, I do manage to stay alive. And it's fine. Like, it was kind of messy. I didn't know what was going on back there. They could have scored, but my teammates did a good job holding it down as well. So I really, really, really want to take out that speed turret. I got it. It makes them so much harder to hit. Like, he's not very happy I took out the speed turret. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely our game to lose with the position that we're in right now. And... I do have my possess if anyone just runs up to me. So really good spike super there. Honestly, like I feel like we definitely win the game. I didn't know he had spike super, but that was like very smart. Uh, definitely caught me off guard and I was just getting pinched by the squeak. So uh, I do lose my treat, unfortunately. Uh, kind of pretty crappy to be honest because we were in such good position. And uh, yeah, this overtime, it's definitely like they have position right now, but we do have treated up Bonnie, which is kind of like very free into all these in overtime, I think. So you can see composure just going to work on them. Uh, we do need to be very careful about giving Stu a hit because I'm playing like this on the squeak and I'm getting ready. Composure is playing it really smart. We're just both not giving him any hits because he can definitely score so easily. If he does get one hit, he gets super, obviously. There's a big gap in between us, but we don't. So there you can see, I see he gets the gap. So I just pinch in a little closer. Same with Composure. He's not pulling that on us. And uh, yeah, our dog is going to go down again. So it's going to be kind of tough here. I definitely need to look for a control. And I managed to snipe the stew. And I'm going to just push him away from Composure. He dashes the wrong way. And 
I'm very happy we won that one, to be honest. Like, I was on, like, a bit of a win streak here. It was getting kind of close. Um, so, yeah, nice little control there, and my teammates played really well as well in that one. All right, guys, game number three, and it is going to be on Canal Grande. Um, yeah, we have first pick, so... Um, we definitely want to look for something. I think Eve is probably the best first pick on this map, besides, like, maybe, like, Cordelius or Shelly. Um, but those two are usually permabanned. Eve's usually banned, like, a lot, but if, like, Squeak and Eve is open, I usually just go for Eve because I think it's, like, just so good for pinching uh, because, obviously, it can go on the water. And, you know, Squeak is pretty good into Eve as well, but I think Eve is kind of, like, better into tanks almost because you can get, like, a lot of supers off them. And uh, it is pretty decent damage. I like going Vision Gear on Eve personally here. I think it's really good. You just get like perma vision on everyone. And they will go squeak, which is definitely the right reply. And I'm not sure about their 2 3 here, but you know, squeak is definitely very strong on this map as well. You can just gadget off a side. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much like free mid control. So they're going to go Gene, which is another decent brawler. Uh, a lot of vision, obviously. But I don't really like it into Eve. I probably would have went something else. Um, I do like going like an anti tank. If I do go squeak, which I've said like tons of times, or something that's like decent into tanks at least, just because you know there's always the threat to get ran down. But um, Seabass is gonna go Mr. P. That's probably like one of the few brawlers he plays. Um, which you know it's pretty bad into squeak, but it's also pretty good in Gene, so I can kind of get it. And like we have squeak, or we have Eve, like Mr. P. Like I need to go an anti tank here, even though I'm gonna have a terrible game. I need to go something that, like, they can't go, like, last pick, like, Ash into, because I could easily Ash into what we have right now. Last pick, like, I don't know, there's just, like, Buster, like, Sam, like, we just auto lose the game if they go, like, any of those brawlers, if I go something squishy, I think. Um, so I'm gonna go Macy, and that's just, like, kind of, like, I think I'm good at the brawler, and they go Barley, which is definitely super tough for our comp. So, yeah, I don't think the Mr. P pick was really that good. He's picking for Gene, but I don't think Gene was the issue. I think Squeak was, and, uh... Yeah, Mr. P definitely gets countered by Barley pretty hard as well. And for Macy, like, I don't have a single good matchup here. Like, this is not a good Macy game. I'm going Shield because I know I need to run in a straight line here and just, like, bully them out of mid. Otherwise, I'm pretty confident we lose the game. I'm not going to rely on my teammates for too much with these ones. Um, but unfortunately, I do get the Barley side in this first game, and I can't hit it. <laughs> like, I can try going forward, but I literally can't, and then my Eve just dies. Like, I don't understand how you're on Eve and you die that fast, but he's making it possible. Like, bro's got to jump and everything. So I try gadgeting up just to be, like, a little aggro, and I do miss that shot on the squeak. That sucks. I definitely could have killed him. Um, Macy does not have the best auto-aim. Like I said, touched on earlier, the, the Eve's trolling, to be honest. Like, you have jump, you're getting max range by Gene, like, you're just permadying, like, I don't know, just even not for all, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I do need to be careful when I'm going in, and we're gonna trade kills there. I got the Gene pretty low, E's able to finish it off. I held on to my super, I held on to gadgets, so even if it looks like I'm kind of trolling, but, like, I know I need to go, like, as aggro as possible, and we need to get mid. And I managed to pick up two kills there, which is really good. And I get it really close, 14 to 17. And we have mid control. So um, I'm not lying. Like on these kind of maps into their comp, if I'm playing passive, we're just going to slowly bleed out. So I need to just be like as aggro as possible. Even if it's like mat, like they need one more kill. If I'm just like trolling, like if I just stand there, Seabass dies. I don't know. I feel like my teammates played that one really, really bad. I'm not saying I played perfect, but it's like much harder game for me on the brawler I'm on compared to what they're on. So I'm going to switch sides because I can't do anything against the barley. And you're going to see I will just run literally in a straight line. If Seabass can kind of tie the barley, perfect. Uh, someone needs to be on the barley, and I would rather it not be me so I can try carrying this game. So I'm just going to dash in his face, super two of them, and we're going to get mid control or like better than last game at least. Seabass is going to get a nice kill there on the Gene. They're doing a good job pinching. And, uh, yeah, so you can just kind of see, like, even though I died, like, I killed one. I got one low as well. And uh, mid control is everything. So I'm going to pick up a kill on the Gene as well. Seabass is going to go down on the other side. And we got to keep the Barley out of lane because if we go to a side-to-side -side with their comp, I think they just win. Uh, they do have the Gene pull, Gene poke, Gene heal, Barley heal, Barley super. Uh, <laughs> 
and squeak gadgets, everything. See, that's just perma dying. Um, I'm a little unlucky, but yeah, he's just perma dying. Um, so I'm gonna just try guarding both sides of mid here, and I don't know he's like. I can two tap the barley on Macy, so yeah, it looked like a really free like gadget in and super. Uh, but I can just like hold them back, and they have to come in like they have to walk into me at this point. So I know this brawler really well. I know I'm able to finish the game there, and I will get a kill on the barley as well. So you can just kind of see the difference when I'm not on the barley lane, how much it opens up for like my team and just the map in general. So I think it's really important that you guys understand. Uh, the maps that you're playing and like the matchups of course and what you need to do to win into all those matchups because if it is like control side to side like i said they beat us every time i think like we have some decent poke but we don't really have any way to get kills with the mr p i guess eve technically could but i'm probably the worst one for poking unless i have position um but my teammates don't really have a lot of kill threat with their brawlers so yeah, we are going to get a little bullied out of mid here, but I do notice that the jeans on my side and I see the barley and I know I can go for both of them here. So even if I don't get a kill, I am going to like just, mm -mm. I try that gadget kind of sucks. Um, if I had it open like one second earlier, I think it would have been fine because I would have dodged a squeak shot and I do want to stay alive. I got them both. Uh, I killed the gene and I got the barley one shot. So overall a good play. I definitely regret that second gadget though. And yeah, you can see I have the squeak iso lane. My E has been doing a better job, so that's nice to have. Um, and yeah, I am just going to be like holding down this right side. My teammates are doing a good job holding down the left side. And we just need to keep them out of here at this point. So, uh, you know, this game is definitely still losable. We do have really good control. But if they get like a barley super, they're going to get back on the side pretty easily. Um, and you can see Chepo is, Chepo's the barley, I think if I remember correctly, but my E is going to do a really nice push there, or pinch, sorry, with me. Fortunately, the squeak hits two really good shots and catches me off guard, so yeah, definitely a misplay for me. Um, my E was trying to help me out. I kind of got baited with the squeak being one shot, and then it just damage geared me, but uh, yeah, good good shots from the squeak. I know the squeak's still going to be in there. Like He can't really go back. My teammates are doing a good job pinching, and we just got to back off a little bit here, and uh, as long as our Eve doesn't die, I think we're fine. Yeah, we have blue advantage, so I'm going to be aggro, just make sure nobody dies. And uh, yeah, I think I get both of them. Okay. But you can just kind of see like how I played the matchups after like I understood like what to do. So not a good Mazy game, but I played it well. All right, so next one is going to be on Pit Stop. And uh, I love banning Rico on this map. I feel like it is... Okay, like I know he gets countered by throwers and stuff, but you cannot tank into it It does the most damage if it gets unsafe besides like maybe spike. It is just so good So I'm not really that good at Rico So I have just been perma banning Rico and I think Cordelius needs to be perma banned as well uh, I think it's just so good for defending tanks like and just like mid control and the jump into throwers Like you can just do everything. It's so good on this map and uh, yeah, we're gonna go Nita and I don't really like the Shelly pick here because I think Need is good into Shelly, and uh, I don't think Shelly is the, the best into M's. I don't think it's horrible, but I think, you know, people think it's like, oh my god, like, Shelly, best brawler in the game. Like, you still have to, like, kind of be smart when you're picking in draft. So, um, <clears throat> I do like the Nita pick a lot. I think Nita into M's is kind of like, it can be, like, hard, but it's kind of like who has position. And uh, Nita is just generally really good on pit stop here, and it opens up a lot for us. So, yeah, the Shelly pick, not a huge fan of, because I don't think we have to worry about tanks. We go, like, Nita and something else that's, like, decent to them. Um, and they're going to go Dog, which is, like, pretty, like, I think they're trying to just, like, open the map up, like, kind of scale, and it's going to be hard for the Shelly. As soon as you run out of Clay Pigeons, you're not going to have a lot of kill threat. You're going to be, like, very defensive, and the Nita is going to have a really tough time as well. Open map into like treated up dog, treated up M's, treated up surge. So I think like they drafted it really well. And the surge, I think, is smart because if they go something squishy, I can definitely go a tank here. And I'm thinking about going Grom, but I see Squeak's open. And Squeak, if uh, it's good to all three of those Rollers first off, so. That was kind of the main thinking behind it. And it's going to be like control, which this map usually isn't, but just how it's drafted. Um, if I go tank, like I'm just trolling, like tr tanking to like trade it up surge on like 
open map like treated up m's like i won't be able to play the game like past like 30 seconds i think so yeah definitely have to go for something control here and all three of the throwers were banned as well otherwise i probably would want like dynamite or something uh but squeak you know it's pretty good into all three of these brawlers now we do need to avoid feeding the surge as long as possible i think which should be fine um and their shelly sees the surge there so it should be fine but it is not fine the Shelly if he's Surge. I'm gonna trade kills with it, but Surge got his levels in like less than like 15 seconds. So that's a bit of an issue. And you can just see Squeak Super on safe. Nice little 15%. If I ever can activate the damage gear with that as well. And yeah, I'm gonna get a really nice slow gadget there on the M's that'll get my Shelly. And my Shelly needs to just run on safe here. It's trolling so hard. Just run on safe. You can do so much damage. Like Shelly on safe, 2200 per hit, like or something like that and then i don't know we definitely get like at least 20 percent there and the thing about their comp is they don't have a lot of damage it's super control uh i do miss all my shots on the dog there but um yeah you can just see like it's getting really hard for my teammates to play the game i don't think it's really the neatest fault i think the shelly's been kind of trolling uh, <laughs> but yeah you can just see pretty hard game right now and i'm gonna get the surge low and i'll get him with a nice little shot through the wall there uh, he could have jumped backwards, but I probably would have killed him at the same time. So, he is on high ping. Honestly, the Surge is kind of the GOAT, bro. Like, Ziaku is so good at Surge, I don't know why. And I'm going to super there just because I know the dog has a treat. So, it's definitely worth... If I can, like, trade, like, kills and the other person has a treat, I will do that every single time. Uh, just because it does take a little bit to build up. And Surge is going to be on safe. That doesn't really affect us too much. He needs to shoot the safe here, though um because every percent kind of matters in these kind of matchups i think so i definitely think you should shoot, shoot safe uh and i am going to build up my super here i'm going to go for the surge because i know the surge is the main threat unfortunately like he does that thing where i talked earlier where you get hit by the shots but you regen so he just survives my is going to get a nice little bear there as well i don't really mind taking a shot or two because i need to get on safe uh, my teammates aren't this game and you can just see i am going to get my super off on safe and i I think I trade with the surge too, so really big plays for me at the end there, and needed a good job. I don't know how I got a bear when the map's like in this like kind of situation, but uh, yeah, we'll play to the Nita there. And I think this game, like, we should definitely get a lead at the start because they have dog, they have level one surge, uh, and nobody has traits or anything. Surge gonna ruin my KD. Thank you, Ziaku, for that. Um, but yeah, kind of like up and down first game. I think I played it good though. Alright guys, game number two. I told Nichelle, don't feed the Surge. Um, because I can bully all these brothers super hard at level one. So I'm going to look to throw my Squeak Gadget somewhere where I can just kind of pinch the M's. And uh, I think the Surge does. So Shelly should pinch with me there. Shelly dies again. Feeds the Surge, dies. Uh, I will, like, it's very free for me at the start. Here, like, I don't want to feed the Surge, I guess. I probably should just feed the Surge, though. Like, M Super is kind of annoying. My Nita does a good job. It's going to die either way there, but it does get a few hits. I think it got two hits there to the bear. It did get its bear, so that was a really good play from the Nita, actually. And I need... The only real threat on our safe is that M's with Super. I'm assuming it's on, like, the damage Super. Uh, I think you should always go the damage Super in heist personally every other mode i will usually go the heal unless it's like double tank or something then i'll probably go the damage one um because the damage does proc on the safe and you can just shred a safe so yeah the nita bear is gonna get like a kill there so pretty good value you can't expect every bear to get on safe and i'm trying to just hug the wall as much as i can uh just so i can avoid that knockback but the surge is gonna finish me off with a good shot there uh as well and the m's did kind of find an angle to get the knockback on me so yeah uh we'll play it from both of them and yeah just gonna i don't really mind taking a bit of damage like i'm getting some position we can get a pinch off on the dog he's gonna waste his treat he had one on the ground i don't know the, the reasoning behind that uh i think the surge definitely could have just walked up and got that other one it was literally in the same spot and then he could spawn in with a treat or like give it to the M's or something or like use it to break some walls, which would be really good for their comp as well. They should just open the map entirely, honestly. Like they outrange both my teammates if Shelly's out of clay pigeons. Um, and it's kind of hard for me to deal with a treated up surge. So I am going to try trading. I didn't think that would kill him. So I do throw my super out just to make sure I get the kill. Uh, squeak super, like I said, it's not really the best. I know I'm not getting a squeak super on safe. So I don't really mind just kind of tossing it out. 
But we got no damage this game. I feel like I was stuck defending the whole time. Uh, I'm going to be blocking the surge shots as much as I can because it is only by 4% and I do have my super. So here, I think I should just throw my super out, but I don't know if I can chain supers. I definitely should throw my super out and try getting another one because I don't think I'm getting up without doing that. And maybe we could have won because it was only 4%. Um, but yeah, it's pretty hard to be honest. Like if they play it smart, I don't think I can really, uh, do anything there, but I don't know. I feel like <laughs> we should be getting more than like 10% on the safe if I'm defending the whole time, you know, at the same time, like, I don't think, you know, it feels like a pretty hard game to play so far. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is very smart. So we know the surge is going right. Just ignore him, bro. Like what's a level one surge going to do? Like, he has to just, like, accept that we're not going to play his lane. And we can't base race the M's. Well, I, I can defend the M's. My teammates got, like, free position. And, um, yeah, just ignore the surge. He did have to, like, rotate over. But the Shelly has position by then. She should be able to kill him. Um, she doesn't, but I think she should be able to. And, uh, yeah, he's still, like, level 1. He does have a tree. I do mess up my squeak slow there. And, uh, yeah, we just need to get some damage this game. That's kind of what I'm focusing on. So Shelly needs to just run on safe right now. And I think it does. And, unfortunately, my shot does miss on the M's. Uh, so I'm trying to make sure my shot hits here. And, luckily, I hit both. But you can see Shelly on safe, 30%, just like that. Keeps the game even. So really smart play from the Shelly. It's still going on safe. Shelly on safe, guys, does so much damage. So we do actually have the lead, even though I did miss a pretty critical shot there on the M's. Uh, and it would have prevented, like, a lot of damage, like, probably, like, 20% or something like that. So that's kind of my bad. You know, you are going to miss shots sometimes, but it's always nice if you can hit those ones. Uh, you know, the important, important ones. So I hope my teammates can defend because I'm like, all right, I got to squeak super the safe here. And, uh, you know, we'll get a lot of damage here. And I do kill the sir. Oh, he stays alive. 16. That's crazy. He stays alive there. Um, but, yeah, we will get a lot of damage. And you can just see, like... If two people are on the other side of the map and we kill someone on the other side of the map, just run on safe, Shelly. Like, even Nita, like, in these types of games, like, where it's just, like, you win by a few percent, every percent means so much more. So you want to make sure you maximize the most of uh, your damaging opportunities. And you can see why at the end, why even, like, one shot will matter. Um, so, yeah, we're in a pretty bad spot here. I noticed Shelly's out of clay pigeons. Nita um, doesn't have bear and... They're all treated up, so I do manage to trade the dog, like I said. If I can trade with someone that has a treat in like a position like this, I think it's really good. Uh, and really well played from the Nita there as well. Um, unfortunately, the M's just does stay alive. That would have been a huge kill for us. I don't know where our Shelly is. I guess it just went up and died. Didn't really get anything out of it. Um, but you can just see triple squeak kill. Otherwise, we lose the game, bro. We went by 2%. So that super is pretty crazy. Um... I did manage to get all three of them. I don't know. I think the Nita played pretty good. I think the Shelly was pretty lost. Um, you can see Ziaku, like, no help, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and, yeah, I don't think I had, like... I think it's a tough Nita game and tough Shelly game. So, uh, you know, kudos for the Shelly, though. It definitely won us the game by going on the safe, the last one. And, like I said, every percent matters, especially in, like, these control-based comp games in Heist. So, yeah, guys... That last game was my last win on the winning streak, 19, and then I lost. I had a peak L2 Tara, and, like, everyone else was masters in the lobby, and, like, he just didn't do very good. Um, but, yeah, it's okay. Like, I'm happy. I've had two huge winning streaks. I was third in the world. I tilted a bit on YouTube yesterday. You guys, some of you probably saw that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to try getting back up there, and I am going to go for number one. Uh, we'll see how it goes, because the Zeta guy is there, like, crazy bro i swear these guys don't lose they're so like i was like plus like six games at like third and like which usually like any other rank you'd probably go up like three ranks at least um in the top 10 but they are like very far ahead so i got some work to do if i want to get number one and yeah guys if uh you like the content make sure you guys come check me out live i'm live every day at like 2 p.m on twitch and then the next day i'll be live on youtube at 2 p.m est as well make sure you guys like and subscribe and join the discord to keep up with everything thank you guys so much and i'll see you soon peace